All right, so we're going out to Nzuku Valley to firefight. Hi guys! <laughs> That's Dolly right there. And then we have a whole bunch of people out here too. I guess there would be about a uh, hundred odd people who have volunteered plus some of the disaster management teams in Nagaji Regiment and we have the Nagaland police also coming up to hide the fire today. Still on the way. That's like the most creative a uh, Dao holder, I don't know what it's called. Ziku. Ziku, yeah. Ziku. I've seen. Quite a nice hike, but also difficult, as you know, to go up to Ziku. And by the way, this is the pipeline for this Wema water supply. This comes directly from Ziku. The rest of the Sartre Nagami water supply usually is from kind of the watersheds from Jaffa and the surrounding mountains. Alright, so I'm not very sure you can hear the rumbling of the fire where the footsteps. It's scary. It's really scary. We're almost up the valley is almost about I'm guessing about 45 minutes track or probably an hour now as you can see everything is smoke filled this has been the case for the last two today is the third day it's still burning really heavy kind of a pretty steep climb here perhaps I can't really notice the angle from there, but it's almost a 80 degree incline. Okay, so we're almost by the fire now. It's just about 50 feet away from here. It's getting dangerous. We could almost feel the heat now. On top of it, perfect. You can literally see the fire here. All burned up. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god, this what a shame! What a shame. Terrible shape. And then look over that side. Oh my god. Reaching Zuku. I never expected, or at least I hoped, I'll never be greeted by a side like this. What a terrible tragedy. Look at all of the bamboo just being burned up. This is quite dangerous. You have to be very careful because the fire is still, still raging. The entire mountain is gone. And right up there, that's where the highest fire is right now. <laughs> what used to be a joyous entry, it's such a heart-wrenching story to tell today. How, how could somebody be so careless, how could somebody not feel terrible about this destruction? Whether it's accidental or not, this is this is obscene. All you see is smoke. The entire forest just burned to the ground. I have to follow the specialist here because I absolutely have no clue where the fire would actually come and it's a very dangerous task so
That's how it goes. Oh my god. This is heartbreaking. This is heart wrenching. Look. Today's rescue machine. Mission is going to imagine. So this is the main footpath, the trail into the valley. Everything burned up. It's still very dangerous because we don't know where the fire is going to actually land up. So we'll need to keep an eye out to make sure <coughs> we're not caught in the middle of the wildfire because there's no escaping it, there's no running away from it. You can travel 50 miles per hour. Shinsuku will be always beautiful, no matter what. Even in its weird way, under these burnt conditions as well. It is still really beautiful. Some of the volunteers here. <coughs> this is the army troop. Or rather, you know, the police. Yeah, right there. My group has gone there. A bunch of young folks. No matter what, Zuku is still pretty. I'll tell you that. All burned up. You can still feel the embers and the ground heated up. All of this must have happened last night. Yesterday, I was thought that the fires were almost quelled, but definitely still ongoing and it's going up deep into the forest side. And definitely over there, that mountain range, it's going to take weeks before all of the fires go out. So, there would be Air Force choppers coming in and dumping water, but I guess it's not going to be enough. Yeah, those entire trees burned up again and again. All this burned up, the undergrowth totally gone. Everything black. Everything charred, standing up like ghost trees. Most of those trees are rhododendron trees. The thing with rhododendron is that whether it's dead or alive, it burns very easily. So that's why you see. The skeleton trees all burnt up. Look at that. Everything charred up. Oh my god. What a shame. What a shame. This is hard wrenching. And I say this again, but this really is heartbreaking. That's how it goes.